Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite Telegram scammer, Gardner. Do not reply to these comments, they're not me. I am never ever going to ask you to DM me. I'm just not that kind of guy. <laughs> the Steam Deck has simplified the PC gaming experience, but it's not perfect. In most instances, games are built for Windows, but SteamOS is based on Linux. And my gut tells me that the two should never cross. Yet Valve has tried to fix this with Proton, and you've probably heard of it before. Proton is a compatibility tool that provides a Windows environment for Windows games on Linux. But what if Valve's own solution isn't enough? What if your favorite game just doesn't work out of the box on Linux? That's where today's video should help. Let's talk about Proton Up QT. What it is, what it does, and how to use it. So what is Steam Play? In the beginning, Valve made Proton. As mentioned earlier, Proton provides the Windows environment that many games on Steam expect. But Proton wouldn't be very useful if Valve hadn't allowed it to integrate into Steam. Consequently, Steam now has an interface that other compatibility tools can interact with, at least on Linux. But what other types of compatibility tools can we expect? Well, there are several very interesting and powerful community-made options out there. Since Proton is open source, there are community spins of Valve's own Proton. Some of them, like Proton GE, sometimes also called GE Proton, provide extra patches and changes. GE stands for Glorious Egg Roll, and it's probably the most popular spin of Proton out there. But there's also Proton TKG. The TKG version provides custom patches and upstream changes, often including game-specific updates. However, there's also more interesting and specialized compatibility tools from the community out there. First up, we have Boxtron. Do you like to play old PC games? Things like Commander Keen or Duke Nukem? Well, you might be surprised to know that these games are actually distributed on Steam with the DOSBox emulator, and most of them ship with the Windows version of DOSBox. Installing the Boxtron compatibility tool will let you replace the Windows DOSBox executable with a native Linux version, and it should help with performance in many areas. Next up, let's talk about Roberta. Roberta allows you to play Scum VM titles. These are games that use the LucasArts Scum engine, and again, this lets you use the native Linux version of Scum VM versus the Windows version that's distributed with most of these games on Steam. And finally, my favorite tool, Lux Trapetta. Now, I did a video about Lux Trapetta, but to give you a brief overview of what it does, it essentially lets you run native Linux binaries of your favorite games using the assets that are distributed through Steam. Watch my video up here if you want to learn more. With ProtonUpQT, not only can you install the latest release of GE Proton, but you can also install and manage Luxtrapetta, or Boxtron, or Roberta, and even Proton TKG. And again, these give you cutting edge versions of Proton that otherwise wouldn't be distributed with Steam yet, or the official build of Proton for that matter. So what is ProtonUpQT? Well, ProtonUpQT is a simple graphical front end for managing community made Steam Play compatibility tools. It's easy to use, it gives you access to the latest community-made com uh, compatibility tools, and takes the hassle out of managing them. But let me ask you a question. Are you enjoying this video so far? Do you believe in the work that I'm doing? Why not like that smash button and tickle that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the awesome stuff that we're doing here on the channel. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers, and I think with your help, we can get there. And thanks. Now, there are many ways to go about getting ProtonUpQT. Perhaps the easiest route is to go to the releases section on their GitHub page and download the app image. Thanks to all the dependencies being built into the app image, this will allow the application to run across virtually any Linux distribution without the installation of additional software. Once the app image has been downloaded, copy the file to a convenient place. Now we'll need to mark the application as executable. Generally, depending on what desktop environment or window manager you're using, this requires right-clicking on the file and checking a box marked executable. Alternatively, you can navigate to the folder containing the app image with the terminal and mark it as executable with the following command, chmod plus x protonupqt version number dot app image. Now obviously replace version number with the version of the app image you're using, but a quick tip, if you type in chmod plus x proton up dash qt and hit tab twice, it should fill in the rest of it for you unless you have multiple versions of proton up qt in the same directory. Now all this is pretty straightforward. However, if you want to use proton up qt on the Steam Deck, you'll want to switch to desktop mode and go to the Discover app and download it from there. Now this will download the Flatpak version, which is super useful for Steam Deck owners. 
Now the app should be available to you in KDE's launch menu. And if you're an Arch user, you may wanna make use of the AUR package. So how do you use ProtonUpQt? Well, using it is pretty trivial, but keep in mind that you'll need to have Steam closed if you're installing any compatibility tools for it. If it's not closed, you're gonna to have to restart the Steam client in order for it to pick up any new compatibility tools installed. So once you've closed Steam, go ahead and launch ProtonUpQt. The installation directory should be already set up and it should be your home directory dot local slash share slash steam slash compatibility tools dot D by default. If yours picked up a different directory, that's probably okay. But if you'd like to change it, you can use the three dotted button next to the drop down menu. You can also add directories for Lutris, Heroic Game Launcher, and even Bottles. If you wish to use the app's dark theme, you can do so by clicking about and then selecting a color theme from there. To add GE Proton or any other compatibility tool, click Add Version. By default, GE Proton will be selected as well as its latest version. From here, you can choose what compatibility tool you want to install, as well as what version you'd like. Clicking Info will take you to that version's release notes. Now you can click Install and ProtonUpQt will download and extract the compatibility tool for you, and you'll see the progress bar on the lower right corner of the main window. In the event that you want to remove a compatibility tool, such as if you have multiple versions of GE Proton that you don't want to use, you can select them in the main window and click Remove Selected. If you want to know what games are using a specific compatibility tool, select it from the main window and click Show Info. A nice feature of ProtonUpQt is that you can actually see all of the Steam games that are installed on your system and see whether they're Steam Deck verified or if anti-cheat is supported. This is easy to do. Simply click on the Show Game List from the main window. Here you can also choose what compatibility tool you want to use for each title installed on your system, but again, make sure that Steam is closed before applying changes. There's a couple of other things that you can do with ProtonUpQt, including the installation of different compatibility tools depending on the program you have selected from the drop-down menu, such as WineGE for Lutris or GE Proton for Bottles. For simplicity's sake, however, we're just gonna stick with Steam in this video. From here, you can launch Steam and right-click a game from your Steam library. Go to its properties menu and select the compatibility tool from the compatibility tab. And we're done, it's that simple. The best thing about ProtonUpQt though, is that it's open sourced under the GPLv3 license. If you have some Python skill and you would like to enhance the program in some way, feel free to do so. There'll be a link to the repository down below. Well, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'd love to know what you think about ProtonUpQt. Leave me a comment and let me know below. I wanna give a special shout out to Sheldon Halcom, one of my top tier Singularity members on Patreon. It's because of folks like Sheldon that I'm able to continue growing this show into what it is, so thanks. If you believe in the work that I'm doing and you want to help this show grow, you can use the links below to pledge your monthly support and become a Linux warrior on Patreon or as a YouTube member. It's all greatly appreciated. That's going to do it for now, though. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time.